All right, welcome back. Ashley here, allthingsindustry.com. And what I'm doing is uh, we're starting the access with a 557 burr on the maxillary molar. And I've just taken a marker to outline uh, sort of for you folks and for myself uh, where, I'm, where I'm headed to. Uh, the little crosshairs is actually from the microscope itself. So we're going to fast forward here to now I've sort of unroofed one of the, maybe the pulpal horns and that's the uh, roof of the pulp chamber. So what you can use now is a slow round burr uh, to get in there and unroof the chamber. You can use ultrasonics, you can use a diamond high speed burr with a ball on the end. I'd never seen, I'd never even known what, it, what those things were for until somebody said you can use it for that. Um, even the regular burr you're using. So what I'm using here is for demonstrations an endo burr. It's a non-cutting tip. It's a fluted carbide burr. Really sexy terminology for essentially a burr that doesn't cut on the end. And those are great because I'm just trying to get the right shot here. Those are great because you can go right around the periphery of your endo, endo access and right into the orifice to uh, gain that critical straight line access. So here you can see me just sort of go along the periphery of the pulp chamber, removing any of the um, pulpal roof. This is a great uh, little, little piece of kit. So the next step you're going to see is me taking my uh, endo explorer. Uh, I want to orient you that the buckle portion of the tooth is to the top of the screen and the palatal is obviously to the bottom. What we're going to be searching for here, the palatal canal is pretty straightforward, it's like mm -hmm. in you go. And those are pulpal tissue remnants uh, fiddling around with. So that's a pulp, that's a palatal canal. There's the mesobuccal one. And typically in your maxillary molars, uh, you can look at the literature. There's going to be an MD2 more time, more often than you think there is. And that pulpal tissue remnants, you should be using a chemical uh, irrigation by this point. I'm not going to get into, I mean, if you want, I can discuss that, but uh, everyone has their own way of doing things. So we're going to be using 6% sodium hypochlorite in this case. And what I'm showing you there is where I would be looking for MB2. So on a line that goes from the palatal canal to the MB1, a line bisecting perpendicular to that from the distal buccal canal is where your MB2 is. Now that was a whole mouthful of jumble, and I'll draw you a picture so you can have a